Your mind is a house. Okay? It's a house. So, what do I mean by that? Your mind's a house. In dreams, when we look at interpreting what a mind means, we usually look at a house. So, houses usually mean it's your mind, right? Okay? So, your mind, your house, all depends on how healthy that house is. And the health of that house, that mind, depends on what beliefs you have about yourself, about your life, and about reality. They're either negative or they're positive, okay? They're either negative or positive. If you have a lot of positive beliefs, you're going to have a poor house. A lot of negative beliefs going into your house, you're going to have a poor house. If a lot of positive beliefs going in, you're going to have a prosperous house. Okay? So treat your, your mind how you treat your house. Because in another way, your mind isn't only your house, your life is your house as well. Because earth and life houses you right now. And I believe the way in which it is we relate to earth and life and our mind and others is all dependent on what's going on inside of us, right? What is happening inside of us? Is it causing us to have a poor mind or a strong, happy, healthy mind? Our mind determines everything in our lives. It's so powerful and so overlooked. It is so powerful, it determines everything. And because of that, all the beliefs your mind holds that affect and determine how your mind feels, whether you feel psychological pain or pleasure or happiness or whatever it is, are all dependent upon how your house, or let's look at it right now as a computer, because your mind is like a computer, right? It's got memory. It's a very advanced computer, like you cannot believe, right? It's, it's, it literally creates your entire reality without you even knowing it. Your mind's extremely powerful. So it's important to code your mind or your house, you know, like the bricks, the foundation, uh, with as much positivity as possible. Like a positive home is a happy and healthy home. So if you can stay positive, stay happy, and have super healthy belief systems, it is super optimistic don't, and eliminate fear because fear is the biggest thing that gets in the way of us being who we are and doing what it is we feel we want to do at any given moment in time. And sometimes fear gets in the way of us living our own lives and expressing ourselves. So, you know, that can really have a huge effect on your life in a really big way. So... What we want to do is we want to make sure that everything in our mind is not conducive towards manip situations of manipulation, hurt, betrayal, this and that. And how we do that is we, you know, you've got to, you've got to change the energy of yourself. When you change your energy, you'll change the energy of situations in which it is that you invite into your life and which happen in your life. So if you're in a super high positive energy and you really expect only good things and good people to come into your life, that will actually begin to happen. Okay. But we first need to heal ourselves, heal our mind. Um, you know, and you can also, while healing your mind, you heal your mind with super positive thoughts. And that's what reprograms you to stop thinking fearful thoughts that prevent you from being comfortable in your own skin. And living your life in the best way in which it is that you can. That is in complete and total harmony with the truth of your essence, your soul, your spirit. Which links to your destiny and your purpose here on earth. So I believe, you know, you can really hear by my beliefs and everything I'm saying. It's super positive and meaningful. Because we do live in a world of meaning. And if we cannot see that meaning, we will live in chaos in our own minds. And uh, if we can find the meaning, find the purpose, we can find meaning and purpose for everything that may, may have ever happened to us in order to use that as fuel to grow, grow towards healthy happiness and positivity, abundance and prosperity. 
all these things which you, you which 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 fit in alignment with the essence of your soul, which is you know infinite. Your soul, your spirit, your consciousness, your mind—it's infinite. So we need to learn how to access that infinity with inside of ourselves to experience that infinity outside of ourselves, which are one and the same thing. And once you can learn your life is a mirror of you, then you will learn that by changing who you, how you are and what you believe and how you feel, you will change the reflection of what's occurring in your life. Anyway, if you like this video, please click like, subscribe. And if you like information like this and want to learn how to like perfect your psychology, perfect your energy, perfect your life, become happy. You know, a lot of people are trying to manifest things. What they're not trying to manifest is happiness. And happiness is the key to manifesting everything else in your life. But we can only gain that happiness once we actually learn to heal certain things that we may need to heal within our lives, super negative beliefs because of past situations, circumstances and events and so forth and so on. So if you're interested in learning how to perfect your mind, perfect your energy, perfect your essence, perfect your being so that you can be the strongest, happiest, healthiest version of yourself to go out into your life and be guided in the right direction in your life by accessing that guidance within ourselves, that intuition, that connection to, to God and all that is, that the, the, instead of swimming against the current, we go with the current. Okay, and it takes us to beautiful, amazing places within our own mind and within our own lives. So yeah, if you like that information, head on over to Patreon and you want to learn some more. And otherwise, if you like this video, like, subscribe. See you soon.